from now, the one, the only, Ron McGill from Zoo Miami. Ron, you can say hi. Hey, how you doing? Good morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making fun of me? No. <laughs> Yo, thank you for coming through, Ron. Yeah, thank you for the invitation, man. It's okay. huge. Yo, right now he's going to rock out to us for the Get Out The Way mix, the 305 style. Happy 305 day, everybody. everybody. I know he knows the words. Um, somebody told me he knows the words of every single Trick Daddy song ever created. I did a video with him at the zoo once. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I told you that one of the kings of 305 is in the building right now in the mix with DJ Zog, the Get Out The Way Mix, live on Power 96. Happy 305 day! Now, you know, sometimes when you think of Miami, everybody thinks like, it's just a wild city. It's a wild area code. Wow, and, that's a great segue. And we have someone who tames the wild people. I the tame animal nothing. every yes you do. Well you tame it in a way that you know all about these animals. Ladies and you have an amazing brain about it. Ladies and gentlemen, would the studio audience please make some noise for the one and only Ron McGill from yeah. Sue Miami! Uh thank you. Thank listen you, thank to, you very much. Listen thank to you. them. They love you, Ron. Oh man, what an audience you got here. <laughs> How so nice. It's a live studio audience. Yo, That's how we do it. Ron, what is happening with you, Ron? Man, I tell you what, I just got back from Antarctica. I'm appreciating the warm weather. How many people <laughs> have you met Lucy Lopez and say, I just got back from Antarctica? This is the first one. Oh my God. First I have guy. So many questions. And the most, one of the most incredible places on the face of this planet, man. It's the bottom of the earth, but it's just, a, it's like being on another planet. What was the temperature like in Antarctica? I'll tell you what, it, you know, it's their summer there. So it was actually warmer in Antarctica than it is in Chicago. It was in the 20s. In the oh, 20s. Okay. But the wind would kind of kick in every now and then. That would, that would hit you. Oh, did you run gosh. in, did you run into any Anunnaki? What? Anunnaki? Anyways, let me ask you something. Okay, no, no, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's an Anunnaki? Well, he no, believes he's an alien. No, no, no. There are some extraterrestrials, and there are some that live underground in Antarctica. Everybody knows that. <laughs> this is where Ron McGill gets up. And I'm, so, I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. You know, I gotta keep an open mind. You know, thank no, you. Triple no, cover, all that kind you. of stuff. Thank exactly. Thank yeah. So how, how did it go in Antarctica? What, what? Oh my God, that's amazing. Went down there with Christy Krueger. We did a documentary for uh, Local Ten. It's gonna be on April 12th. But I'll tell you what. Killer whales going after humpback whales. Oh, Tons wow. of penguins watching leopard seals catch catch penguins. I know it's kind of sad, but I tell you what, it's the circle <laughs> of life. It was really kind of incredible to watch these leopard seals get these penguins. How long were you there for? We were in Antarctica for nine days. Nine days. Nine days. See these humpback whales come right under the boat, man. A, a little zodiac, and you got this humpback come right under the zodiac. It's so cool. By the way, when you were down there. No hotel, no room service. Oh no! Well, well, wait a minute. We stayed on a very nice ship. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we had some chefs. We had meals. I gained eight pounds oh, in nine days. Oh man! Oh wow! Oh man, the food was unbelievable. Oh. Hey, when you go out there, like, are you? Do you think of like I could bring one of these guys back to Miami? Or are you no, just no, there, no, no. Like, you know, that's something I, 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 I need to make really clear to the audience. Sure. Zoos do not take animals out of the wild. Okay, that's, cool. just, that's something that happened many, many, many years ago. All the animals you see in zoos today are animals that are born in zoos. I love so that. So what we do is we try to watch these animals, we try to learn from them, and we try to do things that we can then apply to the animals that we have at the zoo to give them the best possible environment. Speaking of, uh, of the animals, you just had a big loss there. Uh, Sita, yeah, right? Sita. Sita the elephant. What happened? You know, she was an old elephant. She was almost 51 years old. And she had a confrontation with Peggy, our dominant female out there. Okay. And Peggy knocked her down. And when Peggy knocked her down, she could not get up. I mean, it sounds uh. horrible. But, yeah, she could not get up. And we tried as hard as we could to get her up. But, right. of course, when an elephant is down for a long amount of time like that, what happened was she drew a blood clot. Oh. A blood clot is what would make her pass. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's a horrible loss. A horrible and loss. she was an uh, But how many more African elephants do you we have We have two there? other African elephants there now. Okay. Um, and we have three Asian elephants. Okay. So there's a total of five elephants over at the zoo, but um, yeah, it was a horrible loss. You know, like I said, she was an older elephant, uh, but but still, it, it's it's very tough for the family to take. Because do you, do it, you still take it like, oh, one of my animals died? Ab ab absolutely. I mean, that animal, especially, is part of the family. Elephants yeah. are probably one of the most intelligent animals you'll ever be around. Mm. Incredible social animals. So that's a you know, and the keepers especially work very closely with those animals to care for them. To, give them their pedicures, to give them their, their baths, to take care of all the things that need to be taken care of. So this is a big loss. Wow. Hey, I'm so Lucy Lopez. Special guest Ron McGill from Zoo Miami <laughs> is blessed us and hanging out with us. In I'm the, the one right blessed, now. buddy. Yo, so uh, talk to us about Feast 
Reese with the beast. beast. It is the greatest party every year at the zoo. This is not like some little hotel ballroom thing where everybody dresses up and sits down for a boring sit-down dinner. No, no, no. no, no. This is walking to the zoo. We've got almost 40 of the best <laughs> restaurants in Florida. We've got Bonefish Grill. We've got Orgy. Yes. We've got Los Ranchos. We've got all kinds. We've got open bars by Bacardi all over the zoo. We've got all kinds of entertainment. Yeah. We've got DJs. We've got belly dancers. We've got robots. We've got all kinds of, you know, drum bands. All kinds of stuff going on. And you get to see us feed the Sumatran tiger. Not only feed with the beast, but the beast get to feast too, baby. So you get down there, you get to do all this stuff. No, it is the it is the greatest party on the planet, man. It's not one of these boring. I'm serious, man. You're walking around the zoo. Where do you go to a party, and the first thing you see is a bunch of flamingos all prancing right in front of you. All these great lights, people I love looking the great. Flamingos. Oh, you, they love it's you the too. It's the Hialeah bird. It's the bird of Hialeah, bro. Okay, okay, you're right. You're right, Hialeah Racetrack. I know what you're Thank talking you. about. Yes, but anyway, this party. <laughs> It's all you can eat. It's all you can drink. Let me tell you something. Uber your butt down there. It is a great party. <laughs> Yo, Uber. I'm so hot. No, I tell you, that's what you do. You Uber so you can drink and eat all you want. You don't have to worry about anything. It's the best. Or you oh get somebody God. like me who doesn't drink and they'll be your designated driver. And then what you do is you go down there, you go through the whole zoo, you eat all you want. Of, I'm, I'm not talking about like rabbit food. This is not like little salads and stuff. This is like little ranchos putting out steaks, chulos 347, putting out big meat, putting out good food, incredible desserts, all, nothing but Will cakes. There be fish? Will there be fish? Yes, there'll be tons of fish. And, 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 Vegetarian and options. A lot of vegetarian options. Oh, yeah. vegetarian yeah. options. It's everything. But I mean, what I'm saying is, this is not foo foo food. You know, they're not like giving you like a piece of popcorn. This is like serious stuff. It's not like pigs a in plate. a blanket. A plate. Yeah, I know. And you get to go from restaurant oh, no, to restaurant. Okay. To restaurant. The, the chefs are there, man. They're listen, all right listen. There. You sold me already. You sold me like Doing. 15 okay. minutes ago. Hold on. March 15th. 8 to midnight. March 15th. Yeah, call the zoo. The yes, tickets now, the tickets are going to sound a little steep. It's 250 bucks. But let me tell you something. What? 250 bucks is all you can eat, all you can drink, entertainment. Animals are going to be walking with animals around the zoo. Animal encounters. we got the dancers, belly dancers. There's a hookah lounge. It's the bomb and a bag of chips. For $250, dude. I better be able to take a picture with a monkey. Oh, yeah, and, and with me too. Lucy. Okay. Yes. Yeah, baby. That's one of the same, by the way. Monkey me. So, <laughs> so, so, Feast with the Beast happens next Friday at Zoo Miami. Drink. Unlimited food, unlimited Drink. drinks. It's a party. I mean, Incredible entertainment throughout the zoo. Animals getting to watch them feed the tiger. The whole nine dance. Oh, you, you call the zoo. It's an easy number. Ready? 305-255-551. 255551. That's a 305 like today, and then 255551. Get your tickets, baby. Live the dream. Look at this guy. Yo. Look at this guy. Hired. Amazing. Yo, that was an Hired. amazing commercial, by the way. Hired. A commercial? What do you mean commercial? I'm living the dream, baby. I'm, Is that a commercial? I'm, I'm sold. No, seriously, I'm you sold. can also go to zoomiami.org, and as I did, you can just click on the on the ex experience of the events, and you click hey, there, and you can buy your tickets. Wait, one of the most important questions. Are you going to be hanging out, too? Maybe I'm going to be there on my glory. <laughs> yes. I love that. I love that. Yo, you sold me. No doubt about it. More with Ron McGill next right here on Power 96. Happy 305 day, okay. by the way. Ron McGill from Zoo Miami is in the house right now. We just talked about how amazing Feast with the Beast is it's going down next Friday at Zoo Miami. But you know what? A lot of people, they go to the zoo, and I'm not I'm not going to be straight up with you. I've been to the zoo. Yeah. But I haven't gone back in a while. Oh, shame on you. What? Bro, what? You're missing out. If it's you really have, nice. If, all right. If, you ha if I haven't gone back or if people have not gone back in a while, what have they missed? Man, they're we just put on two new baby giraffes. Just went on an exhibit last week. So Brand cute. new babies. Awesome. They're adorable, man. We got a baby pygmy hippo out there. We've got all kinds of. We got a rhino that's going to be giving birth in April. It's going to be huge. Yep. Literally and, and figuratively. And you, you can still feed the giraffes, right? Feed the giraffes. You live that dream. You're up there looking at them eye to eye. Have that 16 inch long tongue come out and take that piece of kale out of your hand. Yeah. You'll never forget. Just that, don't make out with them. Uh, Louis D. Have you been to Everglades? Everglades. You can walk Mission on Everglades. top of alligators, not oh, literally yeah. on them. And yeah, it's like a rope, a rope bridge, and rope. you just yep. walk across. Oh, look at that! And yeah. the alligators are underneath. And you can you. walk in a tube and have a twelve-foot crocodile right above your head in the tube. That's pretty cool. I'm missing out. Is the baby's name Zuri? Zuri is the mom. Okay. And the baby's name has yet to be named, but mom, mom is Zuri. That's I, I took that photograph. You did it. Look I did. That. Yeah. It's pretty good. I follow you guys on the gram. Oh, you know at what? At Zoo Miami. You're really, really. It's ZooMiami.org, by the way. Listen, we need to send you a check. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> send so me too, so I can go to the Peace with the Beast. ZooMiami.org. Lucy, you want to come to Peace with the Beast? You should come as my guest. Yeah. Are you that? kidding me? How about that? Boom, done. I would love to go. Done. Just to recap real quick, Feast with the Beast happens next Friday, March 15th at Zoo Miami. All the information is at zoomiami.org. I don't think you're missing anything because when you're talking about food, it's there. Can we get a ding for that food? Drinks, yes. Um, entertainment. Yes. All kinds of entertainment. Animals. Yes. Yeah.
Belly dancers. Yes! <laughs> Flamingos. Flamingos, yes. By the way, the rumor that I spread it about a year ago that all the flamingos were from Hialeah, that's not true, guys. Balls. Okay. Ah. I'm sorry. Okay. It's not true. Thank you. It's okay. Not it's even it. one. <laughs> maybe even. one. Maybe one. <laughs> maybe one is from No, actually, a couple of them, maybe originally, they're from, Flaming from Hialeah because they're from eggs that we got from Hialeah. So ah, they hatched there you out. Go. They moved I up knew. to They moved There's up, they moved up to, to, to Club Med there at Zoo Miami. <laughs> <laughs> No matter what the situation, there's always a Hialeah reference. But there is, because when you go to the Everglades thing, there's a sign that says Hialeah this way, and it's a little sign. I've seen it. Hey, but Hialeah, that racetrack has done a great job with those flamingos. Yeah, they, they have. They're, 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 they're very them. proud of them. All yeah. the abuelitas take care of them. Ron McGill from Zoo Miami. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you guys. This was a slice of heaven, baby. Pleasure to have you here. You are always off the chain. I can't imagine parting with him. At the uh, at feast with the beast. Can you imagine what it's like? I'm going. Like, I'm, I'm, she's I'm, going. I'm, nice. she's I'm going. hyped so right now. I'm just. Hyped. You gonna go I'm, too? Hell yeah! All right, baby. We got his mic ass. We'll hook you up. Ron McGill from Zoo Miami. More Woo! info at zoomiami.org.